So we're at Borrowed Hearts in Evansville, Indiana, and this is Amanda Hughes. And I would like her to kind of explain what Borrowed Hearts is, where they started, and um, talk about the community that they serve. Hi, like she said, I am Amanda. I am the current president of our board. Um, so this is Borrowed Hearts that you can see behind me. This is our clothing and hygiene bank. We service kids that are in foster care. So if a child has been removed, from their parents by DCS, they are able to come in and shop. Um, we serve licensed foster parents, we serve relative placements, and we also serve kinship placements. Um, we also have a program through Ireland Home Based Services where um, they work with bio parents out in the community and so they also can come in here and shop. Um, CASA workers can bring their clients in and they are welcome to use our resources which our main resource is this, our clothing and hygiene bank. We have a room around the corner that has all of our hygiene items, diapers, wipes, shampoo, conditioner, body wash, toothbrush, toothpaste, anything you can possibly think of that you would need to take a child into your home, we have that. We really want to relieve the financial burden of foster families. Um, when you get a placement, we don't want you to go to Walmart and spend $300. We want you to come here so that we can love on you. We can give you what you need clothing wise, hygiene wise, we have all things baby. We have bouncy seats, strollers, high chairs, literally anything you can think of. All of these things I've also listed are things that you can donate. So if you have anything that's gently used that you would like to donate, you can bring those items in anytime we have open hours. We will also provide a meal. So if you, if a family gets a placement, um, when you have a baby, you get a meal train. When you take in three children out of foster care, you get nothing. So you can come here also. We have um, a well-stocked deep freeze that has meals in it. So those are just the many ways that we can encompass foster families. We also have a, a monthly support group, which is currently on hold, but we're hoping to pick that back up at the beginning of the year. Um, to come in and utilize our services, a family just needs to bring their placement letter that they've gotten from DCS and they sign in and then they're, they're welcome to use anything that we have available. Um, so how did Borrow Hearts start? So our director, Sarah, and her husband, Matt, have been foster parents for, I believe, going on seven years. And they would take kids, they were always a yes. They knew if they called her at two o'clock in the morning on Saturday night, she was going to say yes. Um, so she just started collecting totes in her garage. And her husband told her that that was getting a little excessive. Um, and so the idea of Borrowed Hearts came from that, just a bunch of foster families that were switching clothing depending on what they needed. Um, and when her and her husband would go out in public, I mean, people ask questions whenever you're toting around six or seven kids. Um, and they would say, oh, these are our borrowed hearts. We borrow them for a little while and then we give them back. So that's where borrowed hearts came from. And we were founded, I think we're going on four years ago. Um, last year alone, we served over 2000 children. Um, wow. It's a big need. We wish it wasn't a need, but it is. Um, so we're gonna utilize that. We also have stores in Terre Haute, Owensboro, Jasper, and then in Washington, Indiana. So we kind of, we have the whole tri-state covered. Um, if a family, um, we have a family that lives in Bowling Green and her parents live here. And so she knows that if she comes up here and needs anything, that she's welcome to come shop as well. So. Um, wow, so Evansville is kind of your flagship. Spot. Yes. This is where From Sarah's. A hub. Yeah. Okay. Right. Awesome. Yeah. So, how does your stores run? Do you take in volunteers? Do you have employees? Yes. So we, minus Sarah, we are all volunteers. Um, so when somebody brings in a donation, a volunteer will sort it. We'll sort by size, gender, season. We have a very organized system in the back, but everything is volunteer. So we'd love to have volunteer groups come in. We love small groups or church groups or even youth groups, Girl Scouts, Boy Scouts, or a lady who doesn't, who's at home or retired. Um, we'll take any volunteer. We Anybody. Can <laughs> <laughs> and you just go to our website and you can sign up there or you can sign up on our Facebook page. Good. And can you give us that website? Yep. It's just borrowedheartsfoundation.org. Borrowedheartsfoundation.org. Also, our phone always rings to one of our cell phones. So if you ever have questions, you can call there too. That number is 812-602-5551. Great, awesome. Thank you so much. And I just wanted to let everybody know who donated to our Us Born Drive, book drive for Borrowed Hearts, that this is the place where you donated to. And we brought them um, a 
box full of books that they could give out to their kiddos. And we are so thankful. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you to everyone who supported Borrowed Hearts during our Spreading Love Through Literacy book drive. If you have an organization you are passionate about that would benefit from books for children up to 15 years old, contact me through the link in the description.